I have a whole lot of PDF files on a file server. It's actually an external hard drive connected to my time capsule. One of them is this fact sheet about how to feed birds in the winter. It's a pain to have to connect to my file server, connect to the external hard drive, and then find my way to the actual file just to be able to open it. A quicker way would be to keep an alias of that file somewhere more convenient. First, select the file. I've selected this one, feedbirds.pdf. Then there are several things you can do. You could hold down Command and Option and drag that file. You can hold down the Control key to call up the contextual menu and choose Make an Alias from there. You could simply choose Command L or you can go to the File menu and choose Make Alias. That makes what appears to be a duplicate of the file but I'm going to move it to this other folder here which is just on my hard drive. And notice how it's moved the file over here. This alias has a small curvy arrow in the left hand corner and it's added the word alias to the end of the name. It also actually left a copy of that alias over the, on the original hard drive. I'm just going to delete that copy. So here I am, I've got my alias on my own hard drive. One of the things I can do is rename it. What I've done for my own convenience there is to include the name of the hard drive that it's actually located on. Now, as you can see, you can rename an alias if you want to. Just for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to come back and eject the hard drive it's connected to. And now when I open that file, it actually says I need to get it from the server. And so it connects to the server on my behalf and opens the file. I'll quit out of there. As you can see, it mounted the server again for me. And now, finally, if I no longer need that alias, I can simply delete it. The original file, though, is still where it was originally. Here it is over here. I hope that'll help make your work a little more quick and easy.